what's happening out here at the Maverick Ranch gonna do a quick video I'm at the northwest um, end of my property and uh, I just want to do a quick video to show the clearing that I did with the uh, spring underground spring that starts here actually starts right here on my property comes out and kind of you can see the water right there it comes out it's kind of underneath all that dirt comes out and flows but anyway um, this was nothing but vines uh, you could see I couldn't get all the vines out vines and stickers actually that stump right there is a vine man it's that thing is a vine and I didn't I didn't get down to the ground but uh, that thing was nasty but anyway um, I know before I was showing the um, line markers and stuff you couldn't actually walk to the line markers through my property I had to go in the neighbor's property and same thing down there couldn't get to it and I got plenty of stickers there's a couple piles here nothing but well <laughs> it's got all kinds of stuff but a lot of stickers um, this was a uh, several day project right here clearing this um, cross over the other side right here we can go down further while I was clearing it I found about hundred and fifty feet of fencing plus a gate and I found a total of nine tires that I pulled out of the creek uh, one of which I had to take out right there it was right there it was a uh, had to use a come along pull that sucker out it's pretty nasty but those vines took a toll on some of the trees I had to cut some out this was nothing but stickers right here there was dead trees that tree over there that's not on my property that's my neighbor's tree but it seems like all of the branches fell on my property and I had to Cut them up and get rid of them and then I found this there's a, like a little culvert to go on the other side right here that tree kind of grew grew where it is but um, it's kind of cool um, so we'll walk on over to the other side real quick kind of show you what I did um, marker up there this was not walkable not actually not really seeable really you couldn't even see it from here it was nothing but stickers all up in these trees vines uh, cut several trees out right here you can see the stream it it's not a real big stream but it's it seems like every time I look it's got water flowing so it's kind of neat this tree right here uh, it kind of fell over and uh, it's growing up even on his property it kind of went through his fence right there so I, I was going to cut it down but I think it looks cool so I left it and then it goes down here cut a lot of trees out here this his fencing is kind of not the greatest, but marks the property line. Now this tree right here is another sycamore tree, just like the one I got over there, the big sycamore. And uh, that thing is dead from the vines. Um, I pulled out as much as I could but as you can see I couldn't get them all not that it matters now it's too late but I did get like that's a 
vine that's coming up. It's got pus in it. Give you an idea of the size. But there's the other line marker, which I always say, oh, it's near that dead tree. Well, there it is. It was a bunch of fencing. They had fencing going there. And I'll show you my property line now that I can get up here. Um, I can find the, see the cool thing is I got, I got, I located all the uh, poles, the actual markers. And this goes down, you probably see it, down to there. Actually, that pole, I gotta move it. It's about a foot onto my property. I wanna move it to where, you know, real close to that pin, just to give a better idea. But his fence line is definitely on his property, which is a good thing. Um, then this way, I'm gonna add some more markers, but you can kinda get an idea um, going in line, seeing all the pink, um, it kind of goes at an angle. But this right here, you couldn't, you couldn't even think about standing here. You can kind of tell some of these trees have been um, damaged by the fencing that was here. They had barbed wire and chicken wire about 150 feet like I said a lot of it was smashed and buried um, but I got it out so let's go over here I'll show you the rest of it had to get a whole bunch of vines out from I guess they ride along the surface of the ground and it's hard to uh, get them out. Definitely wouldn't be able to mow it. But that's a lot of stickers right there. This place was infested with them. Now this is kind of cool right here. Um, see those two trees right there? They're growing out of that fallen tree. And they're, they're, shoot, they're up there pretty high. I'd say about, that, that one is about 30 feet tall. But that thing, you couldn't even see that thing. It was so, there were so many stickers here, so many vines, fallen trees, you name it. Like from that point right there, all the way to about right there was filled. This whole creek was filled to the top with vines, stickers, and branches that had fallen off of this sycamore tree that died. And I had to take all the branches out. And uh, before I did that, I took everything off from the other side and and threw them over the creek to put them in my my mulch piles but uh no this thing's pretty cool i i was thinking oh, i'm gonna cut this out of the way i thought it was just a log until i uncovered it and i realized the tree was growing out of it and i thought that was cool so definitely leaving that definitely so we go down here this was all this was nothing but stickers too i mean this was crazy i pruned all these trees uh got them up there um my neighbor's property is over there i kind of got rid of some stuff so it's not so overgrown there was i call them sticker trees they're kind of they're not really they're green stickers, but they come out as a as an actual tree There was several right there. I had to cut out those things are a nightmare really But I've got this to where I could keep it down get a bush hog and keep this down I mean, I don't think it's it's gonna get kind of like that. I didn't clear that little spot right there Because um, I'm not gonna waste too much time, but Definitely want to uh, keep this, 
keep this down. So this is the, I put that marker in and I want to put another marker on the other side of the creek. But just to give you an idea, I do have some water right here um, going down. He's got it. That's his gate right there. And then it goes into that creek right there. It continues on, then it merges into the main creek that goes around, which I haven't explored yet, but I will. Because um, it ties into my other creeks down the, down the way. But anyway, just thought I'd do a little video to show you what I cleared around here. It's uh. It was just way overgrown. It was an eyesore and I decided, you know, since the weather was cooperating, I'll go ahead and clear it out. And uh, I'm probably gonna put the still side around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Actually, nobody can see here because everything is kinda, you're down in a, a valley right here. But it's kind of cool. Anyway, um, I guess I'll make some more videos later. <laughs>